So Peter has been spotting various aircraft uh, all over Europe in different airports. He also spots uh, business jets and it's one of his favorite type of aircraft to uh, spot and uh, capture on his lens. Uh, but he has never been inside one uh, until today. During his uh, filming he has captured a lot of NetJets aircraft uh, and uh, I asked him to make a compilation of NetJets aircraft for us, for our viewers today in particular the Phenom 300 so let us have a look at it now Aircraft uh, spotters uh, are enthusiasts and uh, it's a very difficult hobby uh, and sometimes they really work very hard to get their shots. Uh, they are standing at airports for hours waiting for aircraft um, and uh, you know uh, to get the right shot it can be uh, a game of patience. So Peter, tell me what was the longest time you ever had to wait for getting one right shot? Uh, I know um, some time ago I went to Ostend in yeah. Belgium to um, capture the Antonov 124 uh -huh. which was departing there and um, basically it, I think it departed at 10 and I, wa I was there at 10 or a little bit earlier even and I waited, I waited, I waited and it didn't depart and I was like yeah how long do I have to wait and then instantly it was like 12 and, and 30 hours and uh, I, I was like okay um, and, and finally it's it's it, it, uh, the pilot showed up they entered the aircraft uh, started taxiing and then we got a beautiful takeoff right in front of us it was really amazing so in the end you had a beautiful shot after all the patience yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was uh, really rewarding but also yeah I, I lost nearly a full day there <laughs> around airports usually there is a security fence so uh, they can always get their camera through that. Uh, so usually you'll see a spotter uh, on a step ladder, you know, st standing up, and then uh, they point the camera over the fence. Uh, sometimes it can be a barbed fence, uh, and they have to stand in that uncomfortable position for a long time uh, to get the right shot. You know, so I really respect this hobby. So for my friend here who has been standing around airports admiring these beautiful aircraft for so many years now uh, over a long period uh, it's gonna be quite an exciting experience finally to get inside one today it's like he literally jumped over that fence and got inside one of them um, and I'm really looking forward to capture his emotions today in this vlog so Peter first time in a Phenom 300 what do you think? I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your thumbs up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
So we're now here at uh, Air Technology in Kortrijk Airport in Belgium and we drop our helicopter for maintenance, it's annual maintenance uh, and then from here we're going to jump over to the Phenom 300 with Peter and uh, continue our vlog from there. And this is the uh, R66 like ours which is turbine engine and it has a Rolls-Royce 300 engine which is the uh, turbine version of the uh, helicopter. We're standing now in front of the Phenom 300 that we're going to take to Malaga. What do you think, Peter? Do you like it? Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> so this is uh, the smallest plane from Legends. I uh, vlogged it on my second episode. For those who haven't seen it, please see it. Uh, one of the nicest light jets on the market. It uh, is the best selling jet for the last five years. Um, it's Brazilian. It's made by Embraer and um, it's got a 1900 nautical mile range. It takes six people you know, all across Europe. No limitations on range or payload. It's, it's a pretty good workhorse from them and a very successful aircraft.